How's it going guys? In this video we're going to take a look at Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition in 2022. Now to download it, just go to bitdefender.com as you see here. Hover over for home up here. Go down to where it says Bitdefender Antivirus Free. Click on that. Click on free download and it'll start the download for you. It'll If you're on Chrome, it'll start it down here. Now if you're on Firefox... Um, Edge or any other browser it'll start off the download a different way but for Chrome it'll come up down here okay now once you have it installed and the installation is pretty fast actually once you have it installed this is what it looks like here this is what we got here now the first thing I want to check right away and this is what I do every time I do a review on um, on an antivirus is I want to see how much resources it's taking so we're going to open up the resource monitor here and we're going to take a look at memory here so it, lo it looks here that Bitdefender I think this is Bitdefender here is second to the last most used resource here 5099 kilobytes is what it's using I have 18 is it 16 gigs of RAM and right now in use I have 6,000. Half of that is coming. Well, not half of it, but a lot of it is coming from Bitdefender here. Of course, my uh, screen recorder takes a lot of it too, but it is up there. Just by it running, I could tell right here it's using it's using a lot of resources. Okay, that's good to know there. So this is what it looks like here once you install it. I want to go through the pros and cons first before we start taking a look into the program here. And I got this from PC Magazine. According to PC Magazine, the pros is it uses the same core antivirus protection as the pay as for pay defender. So what this means is you're getting the exact same protection as the one that you would pay for. So that's good. All right. A lot of antiviruses don't do that. Excellent scores from independent testing labs. And we'll take a look at those scores here in a bit from those independent testing labs that come from PC Mag. Very good scores in our hands-on tests, according to PC Mag. Include some features absent in previous free edition. So it looks like they added um, some features to it. And it's free. All right. Now, like I've always said, guys, antivirus, you should never pay for antivirus unless you want to pay for those extra little uh, features. All right. The cons, it lacks ransomware specific protection. So it won't protect you against ransomware. All right, and that sucks when that happens. That's when your computer gets hijacked and they charge you money to give it back to you. It won't protect you against that. So if that's what you're looking for, this won't protect you for that. First time full scan is unusually slow. We're going to test that out here in a bit. And uh, on demand malware scan is yes. On access malware scan, yes. Website rating, no. So it won't tell you when you're on the websites what rating it's giving you. Malicious URL blocking, yes. Phishing protection, yes. That's when they pretend it's Facebook or somewhere and it's not. And you give them your login info. That's what they call phishing here. Behavior based detection, yes. Vulnerability scan, no. And firewall, it has no firewall. Okay, well. If it works just as the good one, good the one you pay for, all right. Now we're gonna go look at side by side, and when you click on View Options up here on the Bitdefender console here, the only thing you really get with the free is that real-time data protection. Every other feature, like multi-layer ransomware protection, you'll have to pay for. Online banking, pay. VPN, pay. Device optimizer, you have to pay. All right, so. And of course, it's going to keep bugging you. I don't like it when it keeps bugging you like this. Hey, try the upgrade. Try the upgrade. You know, no, you just want basic antivirus. So this is what it looks like here, guys. We're going to do a quick scan, and then we're going to take a look at your resource monitor and see how much uh, it takes. So just click on quick scan, and it'll start it automatically. And there it goes. Now, we're not going to run the whole thing. But we're going to take a look at our resource monitor here and see how much it's using. It's going up it's hovering around six oh now it's at 68 all right so definitely you want to have at least eight gigs at the minimum i would recommend eight gigs of ram you could probably get away with four gigs but uh 
I recommend eight. All right. Let's continue the scanning here. And yeah, like I said, um, it uses quite a bit of uh, resources. Before we started the scan, it was already using resources, this program. So, all right, we'll keep that scanning going. I believe we can actually minimize it. So it's going on in the background while that scan is going. Let's go ahead and take a look. So in the main screen here, you're going to see quick scan, system scan, vulnerability scan, which is locked. VPN is locked and safe pay is locked. You can only use quick scan and system scan. Now, if you click on this little uh, pencil here, you should be able to, uh, oh, never mind. That's only to upgrade. <laughs> I can't do much. Now, let's click on the protection here. Icon. Now, here you can go ahead and take a look at your antivirus. Oh, your system is clean. Well, what do you know? That was, I guess that's why they call it a quick scan. Now, what I'm looking for here, which I don't see, where is the full scan? Which it might be the system scan here. Your first system, okay, this is the full scan right here. Now, this is the one that could take a while. Let's take a look at the resource monitor again and see how much it goes up. Uh, it's still at 6,900 in use of the RAM. Hasn't really went much up. It's hovering around there. Hasn't went up to 7,000. So that's good. It's still using the same amount, but it might take a while. Remember one of the cons, first time full scan, usually slow. And maybe it's because it's doing a really, really deep scan. But let's minimize that for now. Let's go back to the protection tab. Under antivirus here, if you click open, you can also run your scan from here. You can also manage scans by clicking here on the custom scan button and customize what you really want to scan. If you have like a second hard drive or something like I do, you can select that one and then scan that one. All right. Now let's take a look at the settings here as well. Now you can, when you go to settings, you can manage exceptions. Let's say um, if you want to, uh, let's say you download something a torrent or something. A lot of people download torrents online and uh, sometimes the antivirus picks it up as a virus. But if you know for a fact it's not a virus, you click here on add an exception and you put the path to it. Now to do a path, for example, you go to your uh, you go to your hold on a second, let me bring it up here. You open up your your folder here. You look for it and then you find the path that way, for example, hold on a sec. For example, here I have these uh, files here. So this is where you know the path is up here. So here's the complete path right here. You copy and paste that path onto your uh, screen here. And that's how you would do it. That's how you would add that program, whatever it might be that you want to add to exception. Quarantine threats. Now, when, sometimes it'll quarantine stuff, viruses, and not delete them all the way. I recommend you come in here, get them deleted. Matter, matter of fact, go to settings here and make sure you turn this on. Rescan quarantine after threat information. Okay, Make sure you turn that on. And if there is quarantine items, make sure you select it, hit delete right here. You don't want to have anything in quarantine. And here you can, you can change the settings for scan CD, DVD, scan your flash drives, and scan the map networks drives. So make sure you uh, you go in here and you do that. Now under advanced, the only thing you can really see here is the Bit Shield, the Bit Defender Shield. That's the only thing you can use with the free version. It's already on. All right, now let's go to the Privacy tab down here. Now everything here is locked. We can't use any of this because we're using the free free edition. But as you can see, if you were to get the paid version, you would have even parental advise, uh, advisor tools and all of that. Under utilities, you really can't do anything at all either. So remember, this is the free edition, and you can't really do much except for the basics, which is having antivirus. So the scan is still going on. Now, depending on how much files you have in your computer, this could take a long time. I, re I recommend doing it overnight okay, if, if for your first scan, because remember, the cons did say it'll take a long time. Now, I want to see what the lab results were through PCMag. I got a screenshot here from the PCMag article and I will post the link on the description of the video below to the PC mag article for uh, Bitdefender antivirus free but anyway in their lab results they said Bitdefender free doesn't include every feature on the commercial edition 
Its core antivirus engine is the same as what the independent labs test, Bitdefender Antivirus Plus. The labs do make it clear that their results are only guaranteed for the precise product they tested. Still, it's worth looking at the excellent scores the commercial edition earned. Three of the four labs followed include Bitdefender in their testing and the three-part test regularly reported by AV Test Institute. That's the test institute that they use. They can earn up to six points for each effective protection, low impact on performance, and, and so they look at performance, they look at usability problems, like false positives. They say Bitdefend, Bitdefender missed a, per, uh, missed a perfect 18 points due to a few false positives that cost it half point in usability, but 17.5 points is sufficient for the lab to name it a top product. So apparently Bitdefender, according to PC Mag, using their AV Test Institute is a top product. Avira Free, Kaspersky, Microsoft, and Norton are among the products that manage a perfect score. So we're going to be looking at those next, guys. We're going to make videos on those here soon. All right. Now I wanted to show you the actual test results here. This is what they. This is from PC Mag again. Bit Defender, number of labs testing was three, and it scored a 9.8. The researchers at AV Comparatives perform a wide variety of tests. So three of them here. Products that pass the test earn a standard certification, while those that go significantly beyond the minimum need to pass it, receive advanced or even advanced plus certification. Bitdefender took advanced plus in the latest instances of all three tests, and did, as did Avast, AVG, and McAfee. So we're going to have to review those as well. So to pass his labs banking, so it's they're, so they're, they test it with Trojans. Um, they don't put up with anything less than failure. Another test using a wide variety of malware offers two passing levels. If a product absolutely blocks every installation attempt, it passes at level 1. If some malware gets through but is eliminated within 24 hours, that earns level 2. Anything else is a failure. Bitdefender was among the 60% of tested products that passed the banking test. 60%. Was among the 60%. So not all of them passed, but Bitdefender was there. It reached level 2 certification on the broad spectrum test along with F-Secure and Microsoft Windows Defender Security Center. Only a set and Norton managed level 1 in the latest test. Only a set and Norton? Okay. So we're going to have to look at those, a set and Norton. So it looks like it does okay. I mean, it's up there. But it looks here like they say a set and Norton does a lot better, guys. But anyway, that's what the lab results were for Bit Defender. And right now, we're just going to have to wait for this thing to finish. And it's probably going to take an hour or two. Who knows? Who knows how long it's going to take, guys? Well, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you guys uh, get to um, think about Bitdefender Antivirus Free. According to PC Mag, it, do, it does well. It's up there. Like I said, here are the pros and cons again. And apparently, it does the same. It does the same as the free one when it comes to blocking viruses. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next review video. Have a good day.